Hey, uh, excuse the mess. I want to show you something uh, that I ran into right now, a little, uh, an issue, a problem, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm, I'm building a stroker, right? You can see, right? Piston comes down here, right? It, it, and it's going to drop a little bit lower than on a, uh, a factory stroke, obviously, because it's going up and down, uh, stroking further, okay? So it's coming a little further down at bottom dead center. And I was putting a, a vintage support plate in there because uh, I, I need that for a specific intake. Um, and it was hitting. It was hitting right here. The piston was coming down and it was hitting right here. So I couldn't get all the way around bottom dead center. So I, I've only seen this one other time um, with John Gilman. He had a, an engine where uh, he was bottoming out right there. Um, and there's a couple of things you can do. Um, the engine gasket sets, you know, they'll come with these thin gaskets and then I had a thick one somewhere. I don't know, tossed it. So you'll see there, there's two. Let me, let me grab one for you. Here you go. There's two in a, in a gasket set, right? A gasket kit. There's a, a thin one and a thick one. So sometimes you can put the thick one on That'll, number one, it'll help kind of like a shim to center your crankshaft, but then also, you know, push it out far enough to where you're not hitting and you're clearing. Um, so I tried a thick one. It still wasn't working. Um, broke out the, uh, you know, just the, the digital calipers. Okay, so, you know, you're not going to get a 100% uh, exact reading, but, you know, it'll be uh, like a German specs, good enough, right? So... Um, the depth here, all right, let me make sure we're zeroed out, all right, just a rudimentary measurement, the depth, a little over five and a half millimeter, 5.6 millimeter, or right there, 23, let's call it 23 hundreds, okay. Right, zero it out, and then this uh, vintage one. Right, you can see, eighteen. We'll call it nineteen hundreds. Right, so just that that tiny little difference. Nineteen hundreds. So that tiny little difference was all the difference in the world, right? The piston was touching there. So what I did was take uh, my, uh, my favorite tool, right? The greatest tool, almost the greatest tool ever invented, right? This, this makes me a better welder, you know? Um, I took it and just, uh, you know, carefully, right? It, it looks almost uh, like a nice machine surface, right? Just very carefully just gave it a little peck, just a little smooch, you know, like you're kissing your sister, just a little, right there, right? So take that down nice and flat. And now, the depth, right? Quarter inch, I need some better calipers, maybe some manual ones. All right, some vernier calipers. All right, zero it out. Yeah, quarter inch, right? So added a little extra clearance right there, right? With the angle grinder, right? And a little cutoff wheel. Anyway, so just, uh, just something I wanted to show you, you know, if you're putting together something custom, right? Uh, obviously the, the factory engines, it'll just, it'll bolt up you know, whether you're using a stroke or not, these have been clearance for it. Um, but you know, if you get, if you're using a stroker crank in like a vintage support plate application, um, or even like a horseman stroke, an even bigger stroker, uh, then you'll have to start doing stuff like this. You can see where this, this piston has actually been relieved. Okay. So on that side, right, this is the, uh, the boost port side, right? The support plate side it's been relieved so it can actually go down a little lower and clear the uh the support plate so you know stuff like that or 
you're doing the uh, the scallop crescent moon like a, a West Bend 700, you know, that's another option. So something to think about. Anyways, that's it. I'll wrap this one up. Talk to you later.